He's online, but he's not answering your messages. He's read your text, but he hasn't responded. He says he wants a date, but he hasn't clarified plans. These are situations, questions that women come to me with all the frickin' time. What to do when a guy ignores me is their question. And you know, I actually did another video on this. It was one of my first videos and I outline in it the practical steps, what you practically need to do when a guy ignores you. So I'm gonna pop the link to that up here and in the description. Today I wanna to talk about though something even more important. It's what to be thinking when a guy ignores you. What should your emotional, mental response be? See, a lot of women who come to me when the guy's ignoring them, they're asking themselves questions like, does he still like me? How do I get him to respond? And why is he doing this to me? This is the common internal dialogue that most women, when a guy's ignoring them, not responding to their texts, whatever, come to me with. And so I tell them, here's one simple thought, one simple thought to replace all of these. This guy is freaking rude. That's what it is. When you ignore someone, it's rude behavior. And keeping this simple thought in your mind keeps everything else in perspective. Instead of asking, does this mean he's lost interest? You're gonna be asking yourself, he's rude and I'm losing interest. Instead of saying to yourself, how do I get him to respond? You're gonna be saying, he's rude and now I'm not even sure I want him to respond. Instead of saying, why does he do this to me? You're gonna be saying, this guy's an idiot and he's being rude. Why is he losing me and doing this to himself? Now, I recently posted a video on when a dating coach gets ghosted where I talk about a story where in my own life I was ghosted and I had to apply this exact mindset because this woman was amazing in person, beautiful, warm, and then just frankly rude over text. Didn't get back to me, didn't tell me what was going on. It was just poor behavior. And you know, I'm gonna be honest with you. There's part of the attachment system that wants those people. There was part of my attachment system that made her weird avoidance want her more. However, it's a fallacy and I knew that. And I knew more importantly, I didn't want that rudeness in my life. You've got to be thinking this way. Your dating becomes your relationships. If you accept rudeness in your dating, you're giving the green light to rudeness in your relationships. Now, I'm not saying you're always going to be able to expect an instant response and anything short of that is rude. I have a huge amount of respect for people who can put their phones away. Whether it's with friends, at the gym, at work, if you can put your phone away and be in the moment, I think that's really freaking cool. Here's the bottom line though. If a guy hasn't got back to you in 12 to 24 hours and your text indicated a response, that is rude. Now there will be exceptions and he'll apologize and explain those exceptions and you'll figure out that he wasn't actually being rude. But remember, what you accept in your dating, you're inviting into your relationships. If you give the green light to rudeness there, you give the green light to rudeness in your relationships. Before I go, there's a quick truth bomb that may or may not apply to you. Be honest with me right now. Are you one of the women who actually enjoys this? I don't mean that you enjoy rudeness and I don't even mean that it feels good. What I mean is that there's part of your brain that actually enjoys the drama. If you're not sure, ask yourself this question. When a man acts like this, when a man is distant, rude, non-responsive, do you become more interested in him or less? If you do find yourself becoming more interested in these rude types of men, that's fine. Own it. In the future, you've got to look to switch that pattern and become less interested in these guys. It's going to be weird for you at first and it might even be uncomfortable to have a guy that is emotionally available and there. But in the end, that's the quality guy who's going to respond to you and perhaps unlike people in your past, give you the fulfilling relationship, love relationship that you've been looking for. Well, that's the video. Ignoring is rude, bottom line. Thank you for watching. Let me know your thoughts, comments, questions, everything in the space below. Hit the like button as well as the big red subscribe button with the little bell and leave your thoughts, comments, questions as you always do in the area below. Thanks again for watching and I'll see you soon. Okay.